Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, St. Teresa of Kolkata writes this incident to her spiritual father. One day when all her sisters left to the ministry, the sister who was in charge of kitchen came back and told mother, Mother, for this afternoon we have no grains, food grains left for the, to prepare food. To her, Mother Teresa replied, Jesus will look into it, sister, you go in peace. Having sent all the sisters to the ministry, Mother Teresa returned to the chapel to pray. After 10 minutes or so, the calling bell of the convent rang. Mother Teresa went to see, to attend to the bell. Lo and behold, there was a man with all the food stuff, and he said, Mother, yesterday we had the wedding celebration in our family and there is this food that is plenty of food that remained. We knew that you take care of the poor, the orphan and the sick. Therefore, we wanted to give it to you. My dear friends, Mother Teresa writes, That day I learned more about trusting in the Lord. The liturgy of the word of God, the theme of the liturgy of the word of God today is to trust, call to trust in the Lord. In the first reading, we hear the words, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whereas cursed is the man who trusts in the human being. In the book of Psalms, we come across another word, Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Some trust in chariot and horses, but our help is in the name of the Lord. Therefore, the money, the power, the position of this world is not permanent. They are temporary. Even trusting in human persons is also not permanent because men will act according to the time and situation. Whereas the Lord alone is worthy of our trust, faith and our surrender. Therefore, we are called to trust in the Lord. In the Gospel, we come across the parable of the rich man and the Lazarus. And this parable is also known as the parable of the reversal of the fortunes. The rich man had power, money, wealth, food, status, everything in the world except very own identity that he had no name. Whereas the poor man who had sickness, who had leprosy, who had no food, even dogs used to express the compassion to him by licking his sores, he had a name. And his name was very ironically opposite to his own condition. His name Lazarus. The name means the Lord is my strength. And we see after their, their death, their fortunes were reversed. The rich man who had money, wealth, food, everything, had not even had a little water, drop of water to quench his thirst in hell. Whereas the poor man was taken at once to the bosom of Abraham, it is written. The rich man had a very grand funeral and he was buried. Whereas the, the poor man Lazarus died and immediately was carried by angels to the bosom of Abraham. Then we meet both of them, rich man in hell and the Lazarus in the bosom of Abraham. When the rich man sees Lazarus in the bosom of Abraham, there he begins to establish a relationship with Lazarus and asks Abraham to send Lazarus to dip his finger in water to quench his thirst. Abraham replies, that if one cannot establish a relationship before death, it cannot be able to establish even after death. Therefore, if your home is not heaven for you, Heaven will not be your home. All the good works that we want to do cannot be done after death. We have to do it before our death. The major drawback of rich man that he had money, wealth, feasting, everything. But one drawback was that he never shared compassion to the man who was at his doorpost. Secondly, he was most forgetful of the loss of God. He never listen to the voice of God because the laws and the commandments invited persons to be compassionate and merciful. Therefore, the rich man did not receive after death what he did not share before death.
namely the compassion. When rich man requested to send Lazarus, when the rich man requested Lazarus to be sent to warn his brothers, Abraham replied, they have Moses and the prophets. And the rich man says, no, they will listen if Lazarus from death goes and warns them. And Abraham says, if they do not believe in Moses and prophets, neither will they believe if one of them were to go to them from dead. Therefore, my dear friends, the time that is given to us as long as we are alive to be virtuous, to be merciful, to be compassionate, in order to receive compassionate and mercy. In yesterday's Gospel, our Lord said, Give and it will be given to you. Fully measured, flowing over will be poured into your lap. For the measure you give is the measure you receive. Therefore, if you want mercy of the Lord, forgiveness of the Lord, kindness of the Lord, here and now we need to live with mercy, kindness and compassion. Because if your home is not heaven for you, the heaven will not be your home. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.